Deuteronomy chapter 10, Summary Moses recalls how the Lord rewrote the tablets. He exhorts Israel to circumcise their heart because of the majestic character of God. Memory Verses, chapter 10, verses 12 and 13 And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require from you but to fear the Lord your God? to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I am commanding you today for your good. And chapter 10, verse 16. So circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and stiffen your neck no longer. Deuteronomy chapter 10, translation. At that time the Lord said to me, Cut out for yourself two tablets of stone like the former ones, and come up to me on the mountain, and make an ark of wood for yourself. And I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets which you shattered, and you will put them in the ark. And I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut out two tablets of stone like the former ones, and went up on the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. He wrote on the tablets, according to the first writing, the ten words which the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. And I turned and came down from the mountain and put the tablets in the ark which I had made, And there they are, as the Lord commanded me. And the sons of Israel set out from Beeroth Beni Jeachin to Moserah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried, and Eleazar, his son, ministered as priest in his place. From there they set out to Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jotbatha, a land of rivers of waters. At that time the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord to serve him and to bless in his name until this day. Therefore Levi does not have a portion or inheritance with his brothers. The Lord is his inheritance, just as the Lord your God spoke to him. And I stayed on the mountain like the first time, forty days and forty nights. And the Lord listened to me at that time also. The Lord was not willing to destroy you. And the Lord said to me, Arise, proceed on your journey ahead of the people, that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And now Israel... What does the Lord your God require from you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I am commanding you today for your good? Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth and all that is in it. Yet on your fathers did the Lord set his affection to love them, and he chose their seed after them, you above all peoples, as it is this day. So circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and stiffen your neck no longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome who does not show partiality nor take a bribe. He executes justice for the orphan and the widow and shows his love for the stranger by giving him food and clothing. Therefore love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You will fear the Lord your God. Him will you serve, and to him you will cling, and in his name you will swear. He is your praise, And he is your God, who has done these great and awesome things for you, which your eyes have seen. 
Your fathers went down to Egypt with seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven in multitude. 